Remember when I did the Crytac LMGE video? I really liked that gun and I sincerely enjoyed it and I hoped other companies would do the same and make other LMGs that are very flexible and can use different magazines other than the box mag. The great thing about the LMGE is that it offered an extreme amount of flexibility. If you didn't want to shoot full auto, you can switch it over to semi, take a precision shot if you need. You didn't have to lug around a ton of box mags if you want more ammo on you. It took regular M4 AEG magazines. Again, extreme flexibility. But today, we have someone else on the block ready to take its lunch money, for real. Something that's gonna challenge the Crytac LMGE. This boy, the G&G &G LMG. This is the G&G &G LMG and just by looking at it, it doesn't look like your traditional standard light machine gun. It is a unique looking boy. Much like the Crytac LMGE, this is a gun that doesn't only work with its box mag that it comes with, and more about the box mag later. But with its standard AR style lower receiver, you can feed it regular M4 AEG magazines, and it's supposed to shoot just fine. We'll show you guys in our shooting test in a bit. At first glance, the gun bears striking resemblance, probably even slightly inspired by the Fight Light MCR. There's a lot of bits and bobs that looks very similar with a few differences, but let's talk about those similarities with the MCR. The MCR, much like the GNG LMG, features a lower receiver that is a standard AR lower, and like the LMGE, the MCR can be fed regular M4 magazines, and maybe that's where G&G &G got some of its inspiration from. This guy also features an opening top cover and some dummy rounds for you to make this look really cool by, <laughs> almost placed it the wrong way. You can place the rounds all up in here, close it down, and it looks like a belt fed and this goes inside there. And we'll show you more when we talk about the magazine. Being a gun from G&G, &G, they're known for their high quality polymer, especially in their CM series. And much like the rest of their CM series guns, this one is also polymer. So you get a polymer upper and lower receiver, the rails, the handguard, the stock, the pistol grip, all of this is very high quality polymer expected from G&G. &G. Up front you have an M-lock handguard that you can put M-lock accessories on the sides. There's standard Picatinny rail up on the 12 o'clock and six o'clock position. Moving towards the rear, you have the G&G &G stock you see on many of their guns. This stock, I really enjoy as you can quickly adjust the positioning very easily. It slides nicely across your buffer tube. Find the position you like. It has a lock right up here and it just locks into place nicely. Really firm, quite enjoyable. You can also access the battery compartment right here at the rear. There's a tab for you to open. And gives you access to your battery, which is a small Tamiya plug. The gun comes with a foregrip that also acts as a bipod. If you don't like it, don't gotta use it. Has an adjustable tool for the front sight and the rear sight, you can adjust its aperture. Internally, the gun features a MOSFET and a programmable trigger, and you can program it to shoot three round bursts. More on that when I actually go shoot the gun. The box mag that comes with the gun holds up to 2,500 rounds. You can put the rounds in the reservoir right here. And on this other slot here is where you put your dummy rounds. Locks it in place like that. You can access the battery of your box mag right here. Convenient, just Velcros down, take the tab, pull, and there you go. It takes CR123 batteries, so you're gonna get a little bit more life out of these things. I'm pretty happy that G&G &G took this route. If you see, there's screws on the outside of the box mag, and that's if you don't like the multicam wrap that's on this thing, you can remove it, 
and I don't know what you want to do with it, but if you remove the screws, you can take off the wrap. That's what they're there for. Being a standard AR-15 or M4 style lower, all the controls are in the same place as you would expect them to be, so there's no unfamiliarities in that regard. You have the same magazine release, fire selector. Magazine release is ambidextrous fire selector. Mm, sadly, it's not. And the charging handle is actually right here. So, flip this down, pull this back to reveal the rotary style hop-up right here. I'm using 0.2 gram BBs and an 11.1 .1 LiPo. So here we are and we're about to shoot the GNG LMGE. As you can see, I didn't put the box mag in there, but instead a regular M4 mag. So, you know, gotta show you guys, right? I've also set the gun on three round bursts. I'll teach you guys how to set that in a little. So, less talking, more shooting. Let's do this. Being a polymer gun, it's pretty light. It's easy to kind of thumb overboard this thing. Now let's do some three round bursts. Now to set the three round burst, you take a single shot and you hold down the trigger on semi-auto for about 10 seconds. After that, you can automatically engage the three round burst. Poor Quake, That's so much fun. Now, we're gonna go back on the full auto and finish her off. And if you wanna quickly, and I mean very quickly, reset it back to full auto, just disconnect the battery and reconnect it. I'm gonna do that right now. Give me a second. And I'm back. So I talked a lot about the Crytac LMGE in this video. If you wanna check out that review that I did some time ago, click on the card above or find it in the description below. You know where it is by now. I would certainly hope so. And if you don't, well, we're just gonna carry on without you. Nah, we love you guys. We're gonna, we're gonna wait for you guys to click it. You clicked it yet? All right, back to the gun. The G&G LMG, what do I feel about it? I think it's an extremely cool gun. I have a really weird soft spot for these kind of hybrid guns out there. Like, I don't know what else to call them other than, you know, hybrid LMGs. They offer an extreme amount of flexibility. It's a great shooter, and I really enjoy the fact that you're not beholden to just one source of ammunition and you can use M4 mags so you can utilize the rest of those pouches you have on your plate carrier when you're running in a game. Not to mention it's $400 price point. It's like $399.99. Like it's a really good gun. There's some gripes to it. Okay, maybe some of the, the metal bodied faithful would not be too turned on by its it's polymer goodness here, but other than that, it's a solid gun. But what do you guys think? That's more important. Would you guys like guns like this or more companies to make guns similar to this where it could use a box mag and regular M4 magazines and serve a role as the machine gunner? Let me know all your thoughts in the comment section below. And for cool products like this and many more, don't forget to check out our online store, www.redwolfairsoft.com. My name is Mark, aka Blue Steel. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Red Wolf TV. Have a good one.